Hi there. I think one of the things a lot of us want to know is how do we move our Divi website from one server to another? Recently, I had a number of clients who were on HostMonster at the time, and we moved them all over to Just Host. And I used a plugin to do that called Duplicator. So here I am on my Divi Dude website. I want to move this to my localhost server. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is come over here to my plugins. I want to add a new plugin because I want to add that Duplicator plugin. So I'm just going to come over here and type in Duplicator. And here's what I want, the Duplicator WordPress migration plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Now that it's installed, I'm going to activate it. So as you can see, we have it installed and activated. And if you look over here on the menu on the left-hand side, we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Packages. So I'm going to click on Create New. Hit Next. So all of these say good. Uh, notices, size, checks. So it's just telling me it's, it's pretty big. I'm going to go ahead and ignore that. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to hit Yes, Continue, and Build. So we'll click on Build here. All right, depending on the size of your site, this may take several minutes to build. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video now. It's finished building. So I wanna download both of these files. So I can either click on the one-click download, and if that does not work for you, then go ahead and click on each one of these individual ones. That's what I'm gonna do now. Again, depending on the size, it may take a minute or two to download. So we'll come back when it's finished. It's finished downloading. So as you can see, we have it here in my downloads folder. We have an installer and the zip file, which is the website. So what we wanna do now is move these into the directory. So if we're doing this online, you would FTP these up to your new file host and the directory needs to be empty. I'm gonna do go ahead and do it on my local server. So here I have a DiviDoo folder on my local server. Now I'm using MAMP. If you want to know how to turn your home computer or your work computer into a testing server, I use MAMP and I did a video on that. I will go ahead and link that below. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the files right here into my local server. So now what you want to do is you want to install this from your directory. So if you're online, you're going to go to your website. So let's say it's my Divi Dude website. I'd go to dividude.com forward slash installer dot php but I'm on my local host so here I'm gonna go to my website index of Divi dude so I'm gonna go ahead and click on installer php right here I'm gonna agree I'm gonna hit next again this may take several moments so we'll pause it and we'll come back when something interesting happens when it's finished installing you'll come to this screen so here you want to type in your database name and I believe that just the database on my map server is DiviDude. And then my username is root. So you want to go ahead and type in your username and password. We'll hit next. And we'll come back when it's ready. All right, so here we have the settings, the path, and the title. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. All right, so now all I need to do is I will log in. So here I am on my local server, but I have put a exact duplicate of the website that you see online, the dbdo.com. Here it is. And even my Bloom works. So all my plugins, everything installed, all my media installed, everything. I've got a perfectly good duplicate of my website. So whenever I need to move a website from one server to another, I use the duplicator plugin. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And for more information, you can always check me out on DiviDude.com. We'll see you next time.